Oh, oh, holy crap. You're not gonna wanna miss out on these insane Christmas in July deals. For the last 12 days of July, every single day is going to have a unique sale on buy3supply.com. Gotta go to the website to find out what it is. Every single day, we're gonna have a new deal. So don't miss out. You're wanting some merch? Right now is your chance. Happy, Merry Christmas in July, boys. <laughs> if I told you this wasn't a mirror right now, you wouldn't know. If I start off a video like this, you'd be like, oh, okay. All right, ladies and, oh, hold on. Love this thing. <laughs> Ladies and gents, we're back with another detail video. Before we get going, a couple special cool things I gotta tell you guys real quick. If you guys use my code, Shanks, you go to the link that I have for you in the description. By the end of the month, if you use my code and save some money at Griot's Garage, you guys are automatically entered into winning a $250 gift card. And also, for the first, I think for the next week or so, you guys are gonna get a free can of citrus cleaner with your purchase over 35 bucks. So, code Shanks is back, it's in the description. I've got actually a link for you guys to click as well, but today we're gonna be working with Griot's Garage doing one of the most important things that most people look past or underestimate doing, detailing new paint. Whether you have bought a brand new car off the showroom floor or you have taken your car to a shop to get painted, paint needs correction after it's done. There's a lot of swirls and a lot of stuff that happens in the curing process. Also, if you do have a brand new car, that's one of the most fundamental times actually to, to detail a car. Just because it has new paint, doesn't mean it's not ugly. Those dealerships, I've seen what they do. They would detail a car with rocks if somebody let them. So we're gonna be detailing my wide body AMG that was uh, just, most of the body was actually painted. Some parts, not new paint. We're gonna go over into a full detail on my Mercedes. Before we start, I wanna say a big thank you to Griot's Garage. I've been a part of their team for a couple years and I recently went up to Washington, Tacoma specifically is where they're from, and I had a fan meet with you guys, gotta meet a bunch of you guys, but I actually got to meet the staff and the Griot family. They are fantastic people and being there in person really solidified why I like working with the brand. It is a family owned company. All their liquid car care products are made right here in the United States of America and they have so much good stuff. So while I'm unboxing, you can either watch this, go shop around, go to Griot's, go to that link if anything and just go check out and see what they've got because I can guarantee they've got something for you. So first off, we're gonna be using a new product today and I have an announcement. The Citrus Multi-Purpose Cleaner is officially back in stock. For a little bit, they weren't able to actually get this in stock and now they've got it back. This is one of my favorite products that they have ever released and that's saying a lot because I love just about every, I, I love every product that they have ever released. This is cool because this is good for cleaning up your garage floor. It's this multi-surface cleaner. If you guys have seen me in the past, like it will degrease an engine bay without doing the, the nasty, horrible degreasing things. It smells like citrus. Don't smell too close. It might hurt your brain cells. Some of you guys don't have enough out there to be hurting your brain cells, so you gotta be careful. But I mean, it's good for your grills, your stove. I mean, it's good for around the house. So uh, this stuff is amazing. And uh, I don't know if I have a, an application to be using it for today, but you will see me use it because I actually do, I use them quite frequently. In fact, they're mostly dirty because I'm grabbing them mid Honda Civic Turbo install. This is what you'll be getting one free can of for I guess the next week or two. I'm not sure how long you guys gotta click the link and just figure it out yourself. I love Rio's microfibers. I'm gonna sit here and tell you I love everything that I'm about to open. I got some car covers. That's actually dope. I didn't know that they actually made these. Car covers, this stuff is rad. Ha <laughs> ha, we need that for the Miata. So this is the other new product we're gonna be testing and showing today. This is their new ceramic all-in-one wax. Just to kind of put it short, guys, I'm not, the, I'm not the guy with the smarts. I don't do the chemical stuff here, but I know how to use it. This stuff is going to allow you to have some corrective capabilities on your orbital polisher while giving yourself a, oh, that smells like watermelon. <laughs> while giving yourself some hydrophobic protection, which is something well beyond what a normal wax can do. So this is a new product. We're gonna check it out. You have the SiO2 Tech in there, which is hydrophobic protection. Pour some water on it, watch it kind of dribble away like a ceramic coating would. Very excited to use this, and I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna smell like watermelon after I'm done, and I'm hyped about that. So much other stuff. Guys, Grios has working gloves. Tar and sap remover is huge, especially for my cars that hit the track. When I'm doing burnouts, when I have to do a burnout, for pre-staging, that kind of stuff. Surface prep, cleanser, all of this stuff is really, really awesome. Carpet and upholstery cleaner, I'm probably gonna use that today as well. I got a one inch pad. <laughs> I got a one inch polisher. 
Let's go. One, two, and three inch polisher. Roy, let's go. Oh yeah, that's awesome. I use foaming surface prep every detail because this will eliminate any waxes, any substances on the paint so it gives me a brand new place to start fresh on the paint. Plus, I don't know what Jose washed it with. If you brought your car to a dealership, you never know if they use some really crappy wax or wash and wax kind of thing, so this will get rid of it. And very simply, the other two things are going to be the heavy duty wheel cleaner and then also the tire cleaner as well. Not tire shine, tire cleaner. Of course, I got my pressure washer and the good stuff, so let's go ahead and start with these first. Let me get washed. So uh, the car actually doesn't have a bunch of wax or paint protection or anything on it right now, which is actually it's kind of nice, but it is doing its job in some areas. So it looks like Jose used a uh, just like a wash and wax. It's got you can, it's got a multi kind of stage process here where you can kind of see the, the spots where it's sticking and the spots where it's actually like e you can see the spots where it's eating away uh, anything that's under it. So what I like to do is I like to get one round of this over and then just wash it off. And for cars that are this clean that don't need to induce more swirls, I typically like to just do this one process, wash it off, do it one more time, and wash it off one more time, dry it. The headlights, I'm not sure exactly what I have on the headlights, but it's really liking that area. I don't know if there's some sort of wax or compound or something on it, but it's got something on it. Seeing you at the bottom I had the ceramic headlight coating on it. That's why it's sticking. Don't over dry it. Don't over swirl. I never thought that you would look this way. I want to say. Okay, so it looks clean right now, which it technically is, but this is the most unprotected this paint will ever be, or at least for a very long time. So, yes, it looks shiny, but you're not even close to being done. And I just want to point out, I had a bunch of bird sh up here before I started washing, and I didn't even touch anything with my hands. It's gone. And also, if you don't have one of these body size Griot's drying towels, I don't know what you're doing with your life, but you're wrong. Let's get her back in the garage and start the detail. Tell me everything is sitting on the front porch, standing at the back of your mind. Cause I will tell you everything that's running through my mind. Is there anything that makes you want to switch lanes? Come a little closer to mine. Tell me everything. One of the most important things in detailing is knowing what tool to use and when, and also knowing what type of material you're working with. Um, and for example here, if you're just getting started on detailing, I would pick a car that has a steel body. The magnet sticks to it, it's steel. Different types of metals will heat up differently than others. And I'm not going to get too far into this. You guys can watch amazing channels like Ammo NYC, and I know there's just like a lot of other channels out there that just do this kind of stuff full time. And you can learn a lot of great stuff from people like them, but I'm just here to show you guys what the products do and, and uh, a cool transformation. But something to note here is I've got a couple different surfaces, right? So I've got uh, this, the entire the entire Mercedes is aluminum. Uh, there's no steel on this body except for a couple parts of the frame itself. Most of the frame's actually aluminum as well. When we're talking about the body, like the hood, the fenders, the doors, all of that's aluminum and I just need, you have to know that aluminum heats up differently than steel. Steel's typically a lot more lenient. Secondly, you've got 
your your bump your plastics like your OE plastics like this is an OEM bumper that we have just painted so it's got fresh paint but it is an OE bumper so I can treat that just like any other bumper I'd do then I've got my fiberglass pieces the fiberglass pieces are going to heat up significantly different when detailing fiberglass you've got to be Pretty careful. Not the greatest example in the world, but this, I mean, this is an OEM FRP piece, and you can see that when I was detailing it with just a little bit of, like, not aggressive at all, um, something that if, you know, I didn't have, if I had actually more clear coat, this wouldn't have happened, but this kind of stuff can happen uh, on FRP. Fiberglass products, gotta be careful. A lot of different things going on here, but I'm gonna be using different speeds, different pads, you, you get it. This car was really, really bad when I got it, by the way. Like very, very bad. Um, the first detail I did was good, but I'm excited to see what the new ceramic three in one can do. And another thing that a lot of people just don't know is different OEMs use different types of paints in, in uh, mostly for clear coats specifically. Mercedes uses the most ridiculous clear coat ever. It's very, very, very hard. And you don't know that type of thing unless you either look it up before, somebody's told you, or you have personally dealt with it before. Now, as for what clear coat Jose used, I know the pieces that he has clear coated and painted, so I have to treat what he's painted differently than the rest of the car that's OEM. The reason I don't really like to dry it off is because the car's just gonna get wet again. I really, really, really love Griot's synthetic clay. It works really well and you don't have to sit there and constantly like do the whole clay thing and so it's really good. So it's a product that I really love. You can use soapy water, you can use half water, half alcohol, you can use a uh, quick detailer. As long as it doesn't have any sort of like wax in it, you can pretty much use anything that just allows uh, these or a clay bar to light on the surface. So I'm going to take out the imperfections. I'm going to try and set up some ASMR here and see what a n brand new painted clear coat sounds with clay bar. Here we go. You can hear a good amount in it. So I mean that's literally like, even with new paint, you're gonna have, I mean, especially in body shops, you're gonna have dust everywhere. And while that clear coat is trying to dry, all that's gonna go into the clear coat. So what I'm removing right now, that's gonna be helping get some of that out. Now I do wanna point out guys, every single time you clay bar, you have to polish. Because what this is doing is it's picking up contaminants in the paint, but it's also swirling them around on your paint. Now, the contaminants are so small that only a clay bar can pick them up so that it's easy and just surface area stuff. But you can kind of see right now, like if I go back and do it again, you can hear almost nothing. Which kind of goes to show just because you have new paint does not mean it's not ready for a detail. Whatever clear coat Jose used is significantly softer than whatever is on the OE Mercedes. So um, what I'm gonna do is I always like to, especially because it's pretty scratched now, typically when I'm doing a detail like this, like I'm gonna only do maybe one more of these types of details in the paint's life. So I'm getting it fully set to where I want it. So as you can see on my phone, it's very swirly and there's a lot of things in it that I need to correct. Even a huge scratch right there. So I'm gonna be using the G15. This has got a longer throw in it and I'm gonna be using a wool pad. And then these are fast correcting cream. And because this is uncharted territory, I'm going to use a slower speed. So you guys can kind of check this out. On the Rios, there's an ambi, ambi speed selector. I'll probably do like speed three and uh, see what happens. <laughs> So this actually seems to be working really well. It is scratching it up a bit, which means like this is actually a really, this is a really, really soft clear coat. So what I might do is just go to the regular white pad and stop using the wool. You can see that it's almost having the effect of wet sanding, which is uh, unusual. So this is pretty soft clear coat. I'm gonna move to a less aggressive pad, which means that on the fiberglass portions, I will have to use different pads. I'm still gonna hit the rest of the, the aluminum with wool because it needs it.
I want to show you guys something real quick. I don't usually like to interrupt while I'm doing this because I like it to be flowy, but I want to point something out. So I, I hate doing like the Chad line, like, oh, look at me, I can do one side of the hood and show you how bad it was before, but I actually kind of think sometimes it's relevant. The, I haven't touched this side of the hood, right? Um, as you can see, it's very like uh, uh, faded and it's very scratched. If you get down here, you can see really bad swirls. And uh, so this hood actually was repainted at one point. They did a very bad job of painting and detailing it because this car was really bad. Here's how it came. See all those swirls? Now, at the center line, all I've done here is wool and microfiber polish. So as you can see, there's not as many scratches or anything, but it's, it's more faded. Boom, terrible scratches. And then here it's like, okay, boom. That's just fade. Now, right after here, I have fully polished the hood. So it goes from here, now we are fully polished. It's very, very shiny. So I'm gonna get the hood done first because I'm like leaning over. Look how sweaty I am, dude. This is so hot in here right now. Because I'm leaning over my bumpers and fenders and stuff, I don't wanna like scratch it up like after I do all the polishing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the hood, I'm gonna finish the hood, and then I'm gonna go on for the rest of the car. But like honestly, for the rest of the video, I just want to show you guys the rest of the process in a cinematic form. And then once I'm done polishing, I'll talk a little bit about the ceramic three-in-one that we're gonna finish it up with.
I'm officially finished with polishing the car. Um, this has been so far a three day process, mostly because it's just been so hot, I can't actually um, stand it out here. <laughs> but as you guys can see over some of these overlays, guys, Griot's is insane. The process I did was uh, I was using a 15 millimeter throw. For the whole car, I did wool, except for the fiberglass parts, but wool, then I went to the whole car, I did microfiber, so wool to microfiber, to the standard white pad, which is still gonna cut a little bit, and then I went to orange and then yellow. So it's a very, very long process, but I finally got it done. The car as it sits right now is incredibly shiny, as you guys can see, but it's not done yet. And the most important thing that we haven't even done is sealing all of the work that we just did. Today, I'm gonna be, like I said, I'm gonna be debuting and showing you guys their new ceramic all-in-one wax. And a couple things, a disclaimer, or just like talking about it before, I can't wait to smell this. I'm gonna be applying this with the G9. So a big red pad, a very soft pad, like this. Because this is a ceramic all-in-one, unlike wax, you can't just let this sit on your paint for four or five hours, because the way the ceramic cures is a lot faster. The SiO2 um, will kind of create a nice little eggshell uh, way faster than actual wax will. Also, I am really excited to kind of show off what it can do. One of the hardest things, and every detailer knows this for black paint, is hazing. No matter how good you are, some clear coats just don't like to just be deep and shiny. And uh, there's also, I want to point out, this this scratch that was here in the beginning of the video is now significantly less. You can see it a lot better on camera than you can, like, with a naked eye. But, like, there's some squirrels and scratches that just won't go away, and then hazing is just one thing that's hard to uh, kind of control on, on paint like this, especially depending on the clear coat. So, even though I was able to do a really good job of clearing up all these imperfections in the paint, like, I'm... I, uh, it's one of the best feelings in the world when you can just brag on yourself and things just work out. But like this section right here was horrid and now it's perfect. Uh, it's going to actually fill in some of those smaller swirls. Um, so it's got a correctional factor to it, which is super nice. And obviously the most important thing is it's going to protect your paint and give you a hydrophobic property. So let's go ahead and bust this dude out. That sounded wrong. So right here, there's a considerable amount more haze than the new paint here. That's just because this paint's been in the sun longer. It's older paint, the clear coat's different. So I'm gonna try and see if some of these swirls can get covered up. I can make the, the clear coat look the same. Let's apply. And the more I put on this, the more residual I'll have and the less I'll end up having to end up put on. I might have to come over this spot again later, but we're gonna see. Okay, it's actually, I can feel it, ooh. Okay, you can actually see a difference in where I just, wow. I'm gonna keep working with this, but I'm, I might do like half the hood, do the chad line for you and show you guys the difference, because this is actually, I'm, ar I'm already getting impressed. A few moments later. Okay guys, this is actually ridiculous. I'll let you guess which side is ceramic. We used their ceramic three in one, and which side didn't. Was it this side, or was it this side? Bro, it's so hard to show on camera. See how it's like hazy over here? And then, look at that. Look at that, you can literally see, I mean, all I did, all I did was the ceramic. Holy crap, dude. That is nuts. This stuff works really well. I've done, I'm actually gonna do the windows now because why not? I noticed almost all of the micro swirls and the small swirls are now just completely gone. The last things I'm gonna do is obviously that side of the hood. Um, I wanna protect it. And then I've gotta go undo some random miscellaneous things here and there. Probably coat the windshield. Clean the wheels off completely and the tires as well. And pull it out so you guys can see it. Yeah, guys, I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't even look real. Um, like. It looks like it could be like a hologram or something. What? I know, I know you guys know that I'm, I've done this for a long time and I'm good at it, but I gotta be honest with you guys, if you don't use the right products, it doesn't come out like this, it just doesn't. You can be the best detailer in the world, but if you have crappy products that don't give you a good finish, and don't do their jobs correctly as you're applying your knowledge, then you don't win. This is nuts. This is actually stupid. 
how shiny this is, dude. It's wild. I mean, I can, it's hard to, yeah, there you go. The, sh the shine, dude. You wouldn't be able to, if I told you this wasn't a mirror right now, you wouldn't know. If I start off a video like this, you'd be like, oh, okay. That's cool. Man. I'm obviously, I'm a, I'm a huge overachiever and I'm, I'm, I'm very picky about how all this stuff kind of comes out, which is also just like why I'm good at detailing is because like if I see a tiny little flaw, I make sure I iron it out and it's gotta be perfect when it's done. So absolutely ridiculous, dude. So this is gonna give me a hydrophobic protection. Not like I'm gonna drive this car in the rain really anyways, but if it does happen to rain on it, uh, it's just gonna say bye-bye. It's, it's, I'm speechless, dude. I am, I'm in awe. That is, uh, black is such a hard paint. It really is. Especially when you have an eye for like finding the smallest little mistakes possible, little details in the paint. But I mean, I, I got it. I'm so stoked that the clear coat, dude. I mean, it's all like, it's all, it's all the same color. No haze at all. Wow, dude. Oh, you guys like my little... <laughs> Instagram, that's pretty cool. Man, I uh, just wanna say guys, there's a lot of detailing brands out there. I think the thing that sticks out to me the most about Griot's is not only do I know the company and I know the people that work there and it's not just an amazing place with a very wholesome vibe, not only family owned and they're super active in the community, but you know, there's something to be said about people that push products out saying like, hey, this is our new product and we know it's going to work. So just show it, show it off for us. There's a lot of different companies out there and anybody and their mother can make a quick detailer, but not every company can do something like this, make stuff like this. So I just wanna give a big thank you to Griot's Garage. I've been, uh, you know, obviously having sponsors on the channel is a great thing, but I've loved being with them because they are super genuine, so passionate about making the perfect product. Like from their microfibers to their USA made liquid car care products, like their own full-time chemists that make all this stuff from that, even to their polishers. Like every tool that I use today was Griot's Garage. So, you know, I wanna say it again. If you guys can, do me a, do me a huge solid. At least just click that link, go browse around. I guarantee you there's something that you guys can use for your cars. You don't have to do something like this. I don't recommend you to do something like this because it took me three days, but <laughs> I don't have a word to describe how awesome this is right now, but I just, I can't believe this car is this this good looking. This little, this little dragonfly thinks it's flying into the air right now. It keeps hitting my hood because he thinks he's flying into a mirror, like, you know, another universe or something. <laughs> or he thinks, maybe he thinks it's another firefly and he's trying to get it, get it on or fight. Are you good, bro? I like the Griot's products speak for themselves. But my daily advice for you guys today, I actually have a few of them. You know, I guess today I just want to tell you guys that um, despite what you think about yourself and despite who you think you are, I just want you to know that you have a valuable purpose in this world and uh, to not give up and to not stop going. Life is, is tough. It has its ups and downs. I, I get that, guys. I mean, sometimes when you're in the deepest parts of the valleys, um, it seems like there's no purpose. Like it seems like that, you know, like what's the point? But there's always gonna be somebody that loves you and cares for you despite what you might think. Um, and you're never alone. But I want you to know that you have a amazing purpose for being here right now, today. Just know that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love that you guys are still after, you know, 10 years. Some of you new, some of you old. Um, uh, still part of my life. It's crazy that I'm still doing this and I'm able to just have so much fun in my garage and work with amazing companies and 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 just have fun. Love you guys. Y'all are amazing and I actually will just catch you guys next video. You guys have an amazing day and uh, that's it. Peace. <laughs> I got two videos for you guys to watch. Uh, if you click on one of those two videos that are in front of you, it does help me out a ton if you just continue. Even if it's on the background or something like that, just continue watching my, my channel. It, uh, it helps a ton and it makes me love you even more. And that's not even possible.